Caution, the following video may contain offensive content. Viewer discretion is advised, especially among children, family members, and future employers. Enjoy. Hey, you guys a fan of my content? See this pretty little gingerbread house that my girlfriend and I put together? Pretend that this gingerbread house is the like button. Smash that sh This made a gigantic fucking mess. Hey, look at this. We're in a cafe. Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Dalton, and this is Comments and Coffee, or Comment Cafe. So that's the thing, I don't know what I wanna call this, so I'm gonna leave that to you guys. Leave a comment or vote in the poll that I'm going to create. Do you wanna call it Comments and Coffee, or Comment Cafe? It's entirely in your hands. I figure each of these, I'll start out by telling you which coffee I'm drinking. I am drinking Folger's Breakfast Blend, out of a Kylo Ren mug. And yes, I will get to the Rise of Skywalker review at some point. Okay, let's get into it. I figured we'd start by looking at my spam folder. YouTube does this thing where it automatically puts comments into a likely spam folder. Happy New Year. Why was that in spam? Darth Jar Jar, couldn't go through 10 seconds of this not the fan art, just don't like the commentary. I'll politely let myself out. Please do. Keep the series up, I love it. Thank you, I will. I mean, there's a comic where Joker wears drag, so it's the comic that inspired Arkham Asylum game. I don't know what your point is, but approved, whatever. We live in a society on the Joker video. Great meme, approved. A surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. Approved, like why is that in the spam folder? It makes me look like an asshole. People think I delete comments. It's YouTube, man, it ain't me. Paul uploads fan art part four. Me, a surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. Same meme. My last name's Paul, first name Dalton. Everyone thinks my first name is Paul. Like doctors, anytime I get a phone call, is Paul there? No, he's not there because my name is not Paul, goddammit! Fucking YouTube. Oh, lucky me, Adolf Hitler commented on my video. You should make a Instagram account. No, they got this a lot of fucking space here. Just so they could say 2019. I like these comments, it's like, Who's still watching in the year 2019? Who's still watching in the year 2020? Who's still watching in the year 2035? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm very happy that you're still watching. <laughs> Years later, 343, the last thing you see before you die. What the f is that? Yeah, people particularly like that one for some reason. This person says, I like your videos. Apparently YouTube thought that was spam. That, like, that was such a fucking stretch. Okay, well this is legitimately spam. This watch will make you stand out. It kind of gives me the Star Wars vibe because of the lighting. I'm a huge fan and got this watch. 40% off, link to website. Get yours now before it's too late. Potential security risk ahead. Let's do it. And what do you know? It doesn't work. Don't try to sell watches under my videos. Ah. Ow. That is really fucking hard. That's what she said. Zing! Look at how they massacred my boy. What are you talking about? <laughs> Jeff Jeff, do you not worry in the slightest about getting a virus? Question mark, exhalation boy, question mark. Everything will be ball gags, feet, tickling, SpongeBob, and Shrek, and ponies. Listen, I'm tired of you guys making fun of the way I pronounce pony. What is the point of Aunt May getting younger? Quoting me from the Spider-Man fan art video. Yeah, because it doesn't make any sense for a 16 year old to have a 40 to 50 year old aunt rather than an 80. I always assumed Aunt May was like his great aunt. You know what I mean? Was it ever explained that it was like one of his parents' sisters? If it was, tell me. I'm sure you guys won't hesitate to tell me about how wrong I am. Bunch of fucking symbols. It's approved though, I don't care. 8.30. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that thing. And he says, I loved you, Anakin. You were like a lover, I mean, brother to me. And someone commented, sweet home Alabama. 
Making an incest joke, I guess? I live in West Virginia. I've heard plenty of those. Don't they bury their cousins in West Virginia? <laughs> Why do you do this to yourself? This person says, the views. Excuse me, did you say to make the Clone Wars worse? The Clone Wars series was a gem. Not a fan of the Clone Wars. Actually, I've started again since I got Disney Plus. I'm on the first season, like end of the first season right now. So I'm giving it another shot. So cut me some slack. Crying laughing emojis, like fucking 40 of them. I heard someone hating the prequels. You have failed me, Master Kenobi. I didn't say I hated the prequels. I just said, I know a lot of people hate the prequels. Homophobic scumbag. Oh, okay. So they're responding to my responding to comments video. I guess this is technically a responding to comments video. A lot of people in my first video, they thought I was homophobic because I said like, oh, why are Poe and Finn like making out? Why are Obi-Wan and Anakin making out? What's up with this gay stuff? People took it as me being a homophobe. It's false. No way. It's a total fabrication. It was a stretch, but I felt like I had to make a whole video talking about it. So this person's like, homophobic scumbag. You know, making fun of those people. They're showing support in that way, so I appreciate that. Approved. And if you want to see that video, I will link it somewhere on screen and in the description. Oh no. This person is also commenting on my responding to comments video for my first Star Wars fan art video. Why do people these days, oh no. It sounds like English isn't the first language. I'll cut them some slack. Why do people these days is very sensitive. Why do you have to be mad? As if they never exposed to a harsh reality. Oh wait, it's 2018. No parents would tell a version of Red Riding Hood in which everyone died in them or Hansel and Gretel where the stepmother is the witch, plot twist, or the dancing girl where say can can't stop dancing because she loves her shoe too much and ended up making her leg having to be cut off with an axe with all the bloody gory artist rendition on the book making her dis disable or being told if you don't go to sleep quickly evil mosquitoes will bite you and you'll die from sickness you scare you child to sleep here I supposed what is why my mental is quite different with kids these days you can't say i quite numb towards violent as long as it's in the media and not in front of my eyes because i know it's just a media there's a lot to unpack here they they cite like violent fairy tales so hansel and gretel yeah like the witch is gonna eat the girl but then he references the dancing girl where say can't stop dancing because she loves her shoe too much what is the dancing girl? What is that? So it's a Danish fairy tale in which a peasant girl named Karen gets a pair of red shoes that she really likes and she wears them to church, which is frowned upon apparently. She meets some mysterious magic soldier who puts a spell on the shoes to never come off when she dances. An angel shows up and then condemns her to dance forever, even after death. Karen then asks an executioner to cut off her feet, but her shoes continue you dancing with her amputated feet inside them. It's real fucked up, and I don't know why the hell the guy brought it up in the comments. Well, I learned something today. I learned about Karen and her red shoes, and something about, he said something about, like, go to sleep quickly or else evil mosquitoes will bite you to death. I feel like there's a lot of, like, you know, these old wives' tales and shit that they tell in other countries, and they're like, don't go to sleep or mosquitoes will bite you to death. People who hate the prequels should go to the deepest, darkest pits of Gehenna? where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth. You can hate the sequels, this person says. What is Gehenna? In the Hebrew Bible, Gehenna was initially where some of the kings of Judah sacrificed their children by fire. Wow, all right. Like if you're watching this in 2019 like me. This boy has a huge hate boner for like any fan art and I find that hilarious. Okay, I thought they were gonna be shit talking me. This boy has a huge hate boner. Oh, I just hate this shit. I'm so rock hard about that. Super Battle Droid says, when you see a porn pic about Boba and Jango Fett and you're like, wait, they were guys. Yes, they were. They're also, uh, I'd say father and son, but they like made that, I guess, a clones technically. It's not gay if you're clones. It's fucking weird. This is only the work of Shad Base. Shade Base? I'm not familiar. Okay, well some of this is cool. We got some uh, 
Scooby-Doo comics. Oh, no. Oh, hell yeah, boy. Oh! Daphne and Velma getting it on. Christ. All right, this isn't a fan art video. This is a comments video, but uh, approved, I guess. Why do people even watch Star Wars porn? Kill me. Who does that? I mean, I've never done it. Oh, uh-oh. We got a hater. You sound like a cuck who hates everything, LMAO. It's one of those terms that people just like to throw around on the internet. I kind of do hate everything. I mean, I don't like the cuck comment, but hey, it's your opinion, so approved, whatever. There's a lot of like thirsty Star Wars fan art people that actually like dig this stuff. Ahsoka can force choke on my death stick anytime. <laughs> Oh yeah, baby, let me get some of those tits, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I like someone commented, what is wrong with you? <laughs> My thoughts exactly. Jesus Christ. Some men aren't looking for anything logical. Some men just want to watch the world cringe. Dark Knight Alfred, right? Yes, yes, it's Dark Knight Alfred. Good job. Good job, Joel, you, you fucking nailed it. Okay, two guys left an owl or a bat or whatever the fuck. They're both approved, it's fine by me. I'm guessing all the Darth Maul costumes were half half. <laughs> yeah, we were looking at shitty Darth Maul costumes in that video. I gots to get me one of them. They looked better than D3PO, right? Me, D3PO, beep boop and sh So someone says, okay, own up. Who let the sex pest out? You call me a sex pest there, Adam? What does that even mean, sex pest? The fact that people actually sit down and draw slash paint characters sexualized or gay or as animals is so damn cringe. <sighs> kind of agree. Like, you know, if they're not gay and you make them gay, like, what's the purpose of that? I mean, what's the, also sexualizing stuff. Like we do, we just saw fucking Daphne and Velma earlier. It's, it is cringy. I agree. Uh oh. Okay, so this is, I, I'm assuming this turned into like a big fight because this person's responding to someone else. Well, not really. I'm that one person who pairs up Qui-Gon with Maul, but if you don't like the pairing or pairing characters at all, I won't force it on you because I don't do or like pairing wars. So this person, I guess, is a fan artist themselves. Even if they were talking shit, I'd approve the comment. Like I said, you got something to say, I'll let you say it. I don't care. I like people who are in the fan art community and they say like, hey, yeah, like this is my thing but I won't force it on you. That's fine. Like the fan art videos, it's all meant for a laugh. I'm not trying to bully anybody. Keep on pairing Qui-Gon and Darth Maul. As long as you let me make fun of it. <laughs> Drake. Yes, it is fucking necessary. Not just human have nipples or feel the cold when they nip. Who made you God deciding who can have nipples? What is happening? I'm being sarcastic, you need to chill out, bro. When you do you own drying, you can put as many nipples as you want in your drawing. I don't remember talking about nipples. Jitties. Oh, Jesus, here we go. And this is the first video. So like my first fan art video is the one that got the most hate. I'll show the dislike ratio, uh, bring it on screen. Wow, you really are the worst kind of elitist when it comes to fan art, aren't you? Some people like Cutesy versions of R2, Chewy, etc. If you don't like it, why are you looking for fan art of it? Over sexualized, do we really need a pinup? Yes, yes, we do. Now stop being a femi cuck and fap like a man. Really gay stuff? Homosexuality is a thing which exists. If you don't like it, don't go looking for it. Simple as that. Women can have six packs? Question mark? I mean, she's a Jedi and the order requires that their warriors be physically fit, so you know what? I'ma be a cringy and SJW -E this time around. F you for body shaming Ahsoka. They're saying F you for body shaming a drawing of a fictional character. Okay. Okay. Once again, the cock word is being thrown around. Listen. I like titties as much as the next guy. Let me get some of those tits, you know what I'm saying? Once again, the homosexuality thing. People think I'm a fucking homophobe. I'm not. I'm not. Let me suck on some good old dick, you know what I'm saying? I like it. If you don't like it, why are you looking for fan art of it? I knew what I was getting into. And it's like kind of, I'm, I'm playing it up a little bit, you know? I do think it's weird, but I also think it's funny to like look at this shit and like 
genuinely be like, whoa, what the f is this? They get so fing upset about this sh and it, it doesn't mean anything, dude. Just chill out. It's fine. Everything's fine. The thing I like the most is f you for body shaming Ahsoka. F you, Mr. Paul, for making fun of a fictional character. F you. Luckily, I don't have to deal with this kind of hateful sh very often. I'm going to approve it because it's his opinion. I may not agree with it, but if he or she wants to say it, that's fine. Nice work, you're all caught up. Well, did we have fun today, folks? I'm very grateful for everyone's comments, negative or positive. So be sure to leave a like and a comment on this video. Happy New Year, first video of the year. I appreciate it, guys. I'll see you in the next one.